Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have no idea what this video is going to be. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm having a midlife crisis. Um, I turned 20 in less than a month. <laughs> I am learning a lot about myself these past few years. <laughs> Specifically, the past two, two and a half-ish years, um, because I have mainly been alone. <laughs> Actually, I've almost been alone, like, on my own, on my own for almost a year. So, <laughs> I'm learning a lot about myself, and I'm learning a lot about other people. And I'm learning about a lot about, like, everything. <laughs> this is probably going to be more of an emotional video for me <laughs> than you're used to. Because, like I said, I'm having a crisis. <laughs> I literally can't with the ring light. I can't. I can't see anything without my glasses, but I hate it. I absolutely hate this so much. I am so emotionally distraught that I don't even know how to start a video anymore. <laughs> so hi, for those that don't know me, my name is Remus. I use he, they pronouns. Um, yeah, I am almost 20 years old. <laughs> ah, when did this happen? Like, I feel, I still feel like I'm, like, 16 or something. Like, you don't understand. A lot has happened. And a lot. And by a lot, I mean a lot. Um, I grew up, trigger warning, I grew up in a very abusive household. Any form of abuse, any form of neglect you can think of, I have probably been through. Like, honestly, if you put something in the comments and you think I haven't been through, I would be surprised. I recently got COVID, and I've been sick for most of this month. It's August, and I've been sick for most of the month, and I got COVID near the beginning of this month. I think on, like, the second or third, actually, to be honest with you. Um... Yeah, I got pretty sick, and I had to be isolated for over a week in my own home. So, I don't know. I guess that just made a lot of realizations for me. <laughs> because I just haven't been able to have, like, time just on my own by myself for that long amount of time in a very long time. Or actually ever, I did not, like, see another human being at all, except for, like, maybe my neighbors or, like, looking outside. I don't even think I went outside very often unless it was to take my dog out. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just realizing that I'm at a point in my life to where I am able to be in a household where I don't have to worry about being abused or neglected in my own house because I had the option to let people in or out like if if it does happen I still have the option to be like get out this is my place <laughs> leave you know and like I've never had that before and I'm just realizing that a lot of things that I went through were unfathomably <laughs> completely insane <laughs> like unimaginable for anyone that hasn't been through what I've been through like I think even if you were like a horror writer you probably wouldn't be able to like figure out what I have been through if you haven't been through it yourself you know like honestly I don't I don't even know how to begin to even explain anything that I have been through because I have been through so much <laughs> like even with it all I still live in a pretty bad neighborhood and I've had people followed me into my household and I have been assaulted 
um, on multiple occasions just living in the area that I live in because I don't live in a very good area, unfortunately. But for the most part, if I just stay inside where I live, it's pretty peaceful. <laughs> it's not really that bad as long as I don't have to deal with people, as long as I don't really have to leave my place. Um, the only time I really leave my place, I'm going to be honest, I live right by a hospital. The only time I leave my place um, is to go to the hospital if I'm like super sick. Um, or to go to the gas station, which I don't even like going to, to be honest, or to go to the bus to go somewhere else. Um, more than likely, it's to go to the bus when I leave the house. Um, I live in an apartment kind of thing, so not a house, just to be more specific, but I might refer to it as a house because it's just, I don't know, I don't think. <laughs> it's just realizing that I have been through so much for being such a young age and it's just like how did I get here you know it's just I didn't expect to make it past like 13 you know I didn't expect to make it past like 10 like I was very suicidal at a very young age the first time I attempted I was six years old <laughs> and that is not like a joke or like trying to like show off like that is genuinely concerning. I have been like stuck in a place where I have things that I don't want that I used to have um, even though I was in a very horrible situation and I have even considered moving back in with my dad because of things that happened and I just realized that it's just not worth it. I tried my best to have my parents and family members that I care about a lot in my life, but the way that they're treating me is just not okay. It's not, it's not okay at all. And I don't want to throw away everything that I have worked so hard to get to, because I have this place. I'm finally able to figure out things like financially a little bit. Like I'm still getting there. I'm not like 100% happy, but I have food. I am able to have everything that I need for the most part. The only thing that I really wish that I had <laughs> that I don't is Wi-Fi, to be completely honest with you. This is the only thing I wish that I had that I don't right now, um, mostly. Like, I, I wish I had a lot of stuff. I want a lot of things. Like, I'm a human. <laughs> but Wi-Fi is one of the main things. But, like, I am able to do so much and be able to find inner peace and figure out who I am as a person and it's just it's so hard to describe what I'm feeling right now <laughs> like you see my princess right here for the most part I'm able to spoil her like she has a vet appointment next Friday it was supposed to be this Friday but they're like well you didn't email us because in their email they were like call us and I'm like okay I'll call you and they just kept leaving me a voicemail and I was like maybe I should just show up because they didn't um tell me a specific time they just told me a date which is confusing <laughs> but um yeah it's not like a normal doctor appointment for her or vet appointment whatever you want to call it it's um through like financial aid uh, since I'm not really able to afford a $300 bill for her. Because um, I'm not even exaggerating. They wanted like $300 plus dollars for everything that I want. Everything that I... Actually, I don't even think it's for everything that I need for her. <laughs> I think it's like... It was only to get her fixed and to get her nails cut and to make sure that she got some shots. Uh, but with this financial aid, I can get like a lot more in an appointment and a checkup and everything. So it's a lot. It's my point is it would have been a lot more if I ended up having to pay full price. <laughs> and that is on a low cost vet that wanted me to pay three hundred dollars. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, they were like call us and they didn't say to email us. And then um, I got there. Spent two hours on the bus, okay? Two hours on the bus, which is a long time for getting 
motion sickness and having a dog. It was the second time I have ever had her on the bus. Technically the third time because I had to bring her back and forth to a park one time. So, but it's like the second like actual day, you know? Um, but she was pretty well behaved. The only things that she barked at was other dogs. She didn't bark at um, any other people, which is something she used to do. Sometimes she still does it. Um, but when we were on the bus, she didn't bark at anyone. Um, I did have one instance the first time she was on the bus uh, where she barked at another dog through the window. And it was only one bark. And I told her to quiet. And she she listened. So she's doing better. Um, but yeah, anyway, I went there and they're like, you need to email us. You should have emailed us. And I'm like, why don't you say that in your email instead of saying calling? Hinata, I was just talking about how good you were. What are you doing? Do you hear this? Yeah, but she is able to um, get the proper care. And she's pretty healthy regardless. Um, but she is getting spayed. And she's five years old, so I think it's a little overdue. She's never had a litter of puppies, though. But um, I'm just worried about her getting older, and, you know, I don't want her to have issues because of it. Yeah, see, like I said, this video is going to be all over the place. I'm sorry, I can't get my brain to be straight. It's just kind of everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, but um, signs of me having a midlife crisis. I got a piercing, but I did want this piercing for like a very, very long time. So I did shave my eyebrows when I got sick. Um, I do not, do not remember shaving them. I had COVID and I was taking medication. <laughs> and I think the medication made me a little delusional and I'm assuming that at some point that's when that happened and I just woke up the next day and I was like where are they <laughs> um I'm getting rid of a lot of clothes I have like two big bags of clothes that I'm getting rid of um yeah <laughs> but I am working on a lot um I'm trying to work on like inner peace and whatnot I'm trying to work on trying to find happiness and peace and just enjoyment out of life, which is things that sounds so simple. But it's so difficult whenever you have so many things mentally and physically going on in your life. I have fibromyalgia, <laughs> I have GERD, I have um, exercise-induced asthma. I have like literally such a huge list of mental and physical issues, one including CPTSD, complex PTA, sorry, complex secondary post-traumatic stress disorder, which is by far the most difficult thing that I have ever dealt with um, mentally. Um, I did have my therapist be like, you're autistic, but I'm not actually diagnosed with it, so I don't know if I'm autistic or not. I just know that my therapist is like, you should get tested, and I'm like, and then they want me to pay $2,000 to get tested, and I'm like, where and how am I supposed to do that and get the money for that? Like, brother, like, this was at a point to where I was, like, broke, broke, way broke, <laughs> And even now that I have just a little tiny itty bit more of income, I literally still can't afford that <laughs> at all. I am trying to find some peace through like stretching and exercising. And I don't want to call it yoga because I don't know anything about yoga. I haven't watched any videos. Like I've seen videos of it. I just don't remember any of the poses. But um... I don't know. I just do a lot of stretches, and I did recently buy a yoga mat. Um, it says do it for your, for you. It's purple, and I am sitting on it right now. It is actually one of my favorite purchases that I recently got. I got this, like, I think yesterday. 
I don't remember. But I got it at 5 and below, and it was like 5.55 or something, which is stupid because it's called 5 and below, but they have things that are like $30 there now, and I'm like, how? Same thing with Dollar Tree. They have things that are like $10, and I'm like, it's Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't understand it. I I am trying to get more healthy, and I'm trying to get more focus on like energy and vibes and you know just being more at one and peace with myself which is something I have been struggling with my entire life especially you know waking up every single day and being called every name in the book being told so many negative comments every single day in my life never being able to focus and understand and look in the mirror and be like you could do this, you know, being able to be myself and not have people bring me down every single day because I live with them and I can't escape that, you know? Like, I am slowly but surely getting there because it, it's going to take a lot of time. Like, for anyone else that's going through similar things, it's going to take a lot of time for us. We're going to get there. And, you know, it's just, it's not going to happen like that. It's not going to happen real quick. It's going to take some time to get there and be able to be happy with yourself and be able to love yourself because it's 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 a process. It takes time, especially when you have been told things for so many times, for so long, for every day of your life, you know? <laughs> it's hard to break that cycle and restart and be like, okay, I can do this, you know? I can look in the mirror and be like, I love myself, but like, you know, it's a struggle. I will say I am working on trying to eat more healthy and like, in general, because I struggle with just eating like even a meal a day. Um, I struggle with that. And I struggle with confidence and I struggle with social interactions. I struggle with so much and I'm just learning how to adjust and be able to learn how to do everything you know <laughs> but you know it's a process and I'm proud of how far I've become because I didn't think I would make it this far <laughs> I did not at all like at the beginning of this year I actually went to the mental hospital because I tried I attempted because of what an ex did and I like I've made so much progress so far and I have been clean. <laughs> I haven't been self-harming in I think four to five months now and <laughs> that's that's a lot for me. Um, I did have that a little higher before but um, I was going through a lot you know it's understandable like a lot of things that I've been through, most people wouldn't have survived through. Most people wouldn't have wanted to. And I didn't. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, completely transparent. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to live. I didn't want to continue. Every single day I woke up, I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be live. And to be honest with you, I still struggle with that sometimes but not every single day like I used to I I still struggle with it and you know that's normal unfortunately and um I don't know I'm just happy to say that I'm able to wake up and not absolutely hate my life completely and I sometimes even wake up and I'm happy and I'm excited and I'm able to just be free to be myself and I'm able to not wake up and have someone like absolutely telling me how horrible I am every single day. I'm able to wake up and just be able to be myself and be happy for once and it's so fucking insane to me like I don't think you understand how unfathomable it is to me because I woke up every single day being told how unworthy and how absolutely horrible I am, even though I was just a child every single day of my life. 
and it's just so weird to wake up and not have those voices just screaming at me and you know with PTSD I still do have episodes where I hear them but they're not actually there and you know I still struggle with it from time to time but like it's not it's not happening it's not real like it did happen it was real and you know it's just reliving it instead of living in it like you get do you understand what I mean I don't know I probably explained that horribly (laughs) my main point is I struggle especially with being out in public especially in like restaurants or with people having kids and you know unfortunately it still happens to um children abuse still happens and sometimes I have to witness it and you know it brings back flashbacks and it's also very hard to bite my tongue sometimes because it's like I know that nothing I say or do is going to stop them I know it's still gonna happen I know it's still gonna continue but the thing is it's just I wish it didn't still happen like it's so it breaks my heart that I still see it happening and I still know all the signs because I have been through it I firsthand went through it and it's just it's so difficult and it's it's difficult just going out in public and going to like a restaurant and like you know sometimes people like to get a little drunk and they like to yell or they like to start being very out there and sometimes that screaming can translate into an episode even though it has nothing to do even if that person isn't angry and it's just really difficult to deal with and I'm I'm slowly but surely um being able to get through it I'm not as bad but I'm still hoping to get better like I'm still young and I have to remember that but I still feel like it's insane that I'm almost 20 because I didn't get a chance to have a childhood. I didn't get a chance to be myself. I didn't get a chance to do what I want. I didn't get a chance to have what I needed. And I'm finally able to do most of those things. I'm finally able to just be myself and, you know, be a little childish and you know, growing up, I didn't get a chance to be the child. I had to be the parent because mom wanted to get high or drunk or whatever she was on. I was too young to understand that. And I had to take care of her and she was too out of it to take care of my little brother. So I had to baby him. I had to be there for him. And, you know, he called me mom. He called me mommy for a very long time. He still slips up to this day and calls me mommy or mom to this day because of what we went through and you know my dad was never home and whenever he finally was he just I don't know (laughs) it's just very it's very difficult um to understand that what I went through grew up through isn't what a typical child a normal childhood would have been for the average kid because I grew up a lot of time having to deal with so much absolute disrespect and hate and having to take care of everyone and not being able to be myself or be a kid or play or just do what I wanted to or have what I needed and when I say I don't I didn't have what I needed I mean I didn't have what I needed my mom Uh, She would often take a lot of things that I had and she would sell them Um, and she always preferred to buy drugs or cigarettes or whatever it was before providing for me and my brother and the same with my dad. Um, I mean, they were just kids having kids, but they also went through a horrible cycle and I'm hoping to be able to break that cycle, but it's just so unfathomable that you can have a child and you can give birth to a child and you can create a child and 
treat it the way that you treated me and my brother like the way that you treated us it's just so unimaginable like I could never imagine having a child and doing that to them like I can't I can't <laughs> like I have a dog and everything comes first for her before me like it's just I don't understand it like sometimes we would go without eating um we would go without eating we would go without food we would go without shampoo conditioner body wash um, when we got older deodorant specifically um you know things that you need um like i got made fun of a lot um it's by my own mother for not wearing deodorant when i didn't have deodorant when she was the one that she's supposed to provide it for me and you know it's just this happened all the way up until my late teens and it just happened like until i left you know <laughs> I just don't understand it. And you know, with my 20th birthday coming so soon, it's just, it's just hitting me <laughs> that I'm almost 20 years old and I have spent almost a year on my own just being able to learn how to do so much and understand so much. Like I was homeless. <laughs> when I turned 19, a little after I turned 19, I became homeless, um, and I was on my own, and I had no one with me. Um, I moved out of my dad's and my mom's permanently when I was 17, almost 18, and I moved in with my best friend until I was 19, and I became homeless when they became homeless. We all became homeless at the same time, but they were able to live with, um, their mom and I had nobody. I refused to go back to my mom or dad's because I just, that just wasn't the life that I wanted. That wasn't, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> and yes, I went through a lot of trials and I went through a lot of horrible things and a lot of bad things did happen that are still traumatic to this day for me being homeless. But they're nothing compared to what I went through with my parents living with them. It's nothing, absolutely nothing compared to what I went through with them. And it's just, it's just such a shame that I even have to say that. Like, I recently was followed home by a man that then proceeded to sexually assaulted me at my own home. And I had a meltdown and I called my dad and I hadn't talked to my dad in a very long time. And he told me he could pick me up right now and I could move in. And I just, everything just stopped. And I was like, why do you care now? Why didn't you care when I was begging you before to move in, to live with you when I was with my mom? Like, I know that story sounds like so out of, so much context missing from that, but like, it's just so much happened, and just for that, for him to care all of a sudden, after everything I have been through, and it's just like, I don't know. I tried to talk to him again a little bit after that happened, and I tried. I tried my best, and I was struggling with rent money, and I still am struggling with rent money. I owe $200. Um, I owe $200, and I was like, can I borrow $50? I need help so I can live where I'm living. And he's like, no, I need it for car parts. I'm not even asking for that much money. I'm not asking for a lot. And for someone that didn't provide for me at all, that made me have to provide for myself. Like I bought 
I had to go through other people to get fucking shampoo and conditioner and deodorant. I had to figure out money for myself to get that. That wasn't provided. (laughs) You know, that wasn't provided by my parents. I had to go and figure out that on my own, you know, without a job, being a minor, being under 16. I only say 16 because you can get a job usually at 16, but nobody in my hometown where I lived uh, was going to hire at 16. You had to be 18. So technically, you know, I, I didn't have a way to provide for myself. And I wasn't even 18 whenever I was... I didn't even turn 18 until I left. And, you know, I just... So much happened and... So much was expected of me at such a young age. So much. Which doesn't sound like a lot to the average person. But whenever you realize everything that I have been through, everything that I was dealing with to day to day, it's just, it's too much to be asking for a child to do. And it's just... I don't know, it's just, I wish that it didn't have to be such a struggle to be growing up in the situation I did, and, you know, right now, I'm struggling financially, but everything else is going pretty good for me. I'm able to have food, I'm able to have stuff to wash myself with, I'm able to figure out all of that on my own, and it's just crazy to me to think that I have been trying to figure out this stuff on my own since I was very young. Nothing has changed since I moved on my own except that I am able to find peace and happiness now. I am able to be myself. (laughs) And it's just so insane to think that I could have had all of this while providing for myself if I was just a little bit older. And it's just so insane to think that my own bloodline treated me so awful. Like, (laughs) you could have put me up for adoption. You could have chosen. There were so many other options that they could have done. There were so many things that they could have done to help understand their actions. But yes, they do have mental issues. But they could have gone to, like, therapy. They could have understand uh, what they were experiencing and they could have learned how to help themselves like yeah my mom was 18 when she had me which is very young in my opinion and you know she was like fresh fresh out of her house fresh out of foster care and it's just like I understand that like you know she didn't get time to understand who she was she didn't get time to understand how to deal with a lot of her feelings and a lot of what she was going through and understand how to properly take care of each child but there were options that she could have done there was things that she could have done and I remember when I got older she finally did admit that the things that she did was bad but the thing was she was still continuing to do bad and she thought she was doing good but she wasn't. She was still continuing to doing bad. And, like, she's like, the past happened. Get over it. And I'm like, you were still continuing to do things that you did in the past. That you were doing to me now. Currently. Nothing has changed. If anything has changed, it has changed for the worse. Like, And that's even difficult for me to say. Because, you know, that's my mom. I care and I love my mom. But I just wish that she was able to be able to provide love and care and shelter and peace and happiness instead of of all of the opposites for my entire lifetime, for the entirety that I've known her. Like, up until I left, I was still sitting there taking care of her. Like, she was just yelling and screaming and throwing things, and all of a sudden, she was just crying and sobbing on me after verbally attacking me. 
and it's just so it's just so difficult that I have to deal with that with a parent <laughs> that's supposed to be an opposite situation. Um, it's just, I wish I, I was able to understand and help, but I was too young to understand and help. I did what I could for being that young of an age, and I did pretty damn good for what I was able to provide. Like, I, I was too young to even be doing the things that I was doing, and it's just so insane to me that I'm here today. <laughs> I'm almost 20 years old, and I'm almost, I'm almost able to be able to provide and do almost anything that I need to. Like, needs come before wants for me, and... You know, I'm still able to sneak in a little want here and there. Like, yeah, I'm struggling to buy food. I'm struggling to pay my rent. I am behind, very behind on my rent. But I, for the most part, I'm able to be able to function and be able to live. I just wish I was able to have all of this when I was young and I was struggling and I wish I was able to be able to learn who I am <laughs> and be able to learn how to love myself and how to care for myself and be able to compliment myself and be able to love others and understand how to do all of that instead of learning it now because realistically I should have learned that as a child developing but I just didn't. I learned horrible things and I heard horrible things and I saw horrible things that no child should have ever seen, heard, or done, or anything. And it's just so unbelievable to me that I wasn't able to be able to be a happy kid. Like, I was still smiling, I was still faking it throughout my entire childhood and I just wish that I could go back and redo it all but the problem is I can't can't rewind time and my parents are never going to change they're not gonna change like I don't know like I hope one day I'm gonna be able to go and see my parents and not absolutely have to deal with every single negative emotion and feeling and be told awful things and just be able to be in the same room as them and be able to have a happy fun time be able to have like a good thanksgiving or a good christmas you know being able to celebrate like a birthday being able to just enjoy my life and be happy and not absolutely hate everything about the situation that i'm in like, I hope one day I'm able to do that, but I don't know if realistically that will ever happen, unfortunately. I just I wish it wasn't that way, you know? It's just unfathomable to believe that I am almost 20 years old and I have been more, I have been through more than a hundred year old lady has been through, you know? Like, I've seen the videos. I've seen what they've been through, and I have somehow been through more than what they have been through. And I'm almost 20. <laughs> I'm not even anywhere compared to how old they are. And it's just absolutely insane to me to think that I have been through so much. I have been through literal lifetimes of trauma and neglect and so much that I... I like, you know, it's just insane to me to think. This video is so long. I'm so sorry. I've been talking for so long. But, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or you want a story, full story time on anything that I said, comment. Let me know. Um, yeah, I... <laughs> it's very difficult to sum up everything I have been through and everything that I'm feeling and experiencing in one video. 
especially a short one, even in an hour, is very difficult. So, yeah, if you want to know um, anything, just comment down, let me know, and I'll try my best. <laughs> um, I don't even know if I'm going to post this, so yeah, if you stayed here this long, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for being here. Um, I'll put uh, my art uh, TikTok and Instagram and Facebook down there. I sell art. I make art. It's all personalized. I do customs and I have stuff that's already made and I do ship. Uh, so just like DM me on any of those and let me know if you want any of my art. Um, specifically Facebook because I post more of my stuff on there. Um, yeah, and let me know if you want any of that. Uh, I'll just put my cash app down there. It'll help uh, provide for me and my dog and my rent. It'll help provide uh, for other needs like medicine, food, um, like important things. I'm not spending this stuff on like crazy <laughs> shopping vendors, like things that I actually genuinely need. And yes, I will show proof if you want that. <laughs> um, I usually do anyway because... I appreciate it like it means a lot like for you to take time out of your day to send me money that you worked for most of the time it means a lot to me so yeah and um I'll also put my personal TikTok down there <laughs> I probably haven't posted on there in a while because I don't have wi-fi um but yeah thank you for watching and being here and listening and understanding <laughs> And let me know if you got any questions, any comments, anything. I'll try my best to get back to them as soon as I can. Um, I just thank you for being here and being alive and, you know, contributing. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Do whatever you want. Um, let me know how bad or good this video is because I genuinely don't know. And more than likely, I'm not even going to edit this video. So, I will try eventually one day when I get wi-fi and more storage and a better camera but that is gonna be a while because that takes a lot of money and I'm broke <laughs> remember to love yourself stay hydrated and to eat even a little bit I know I got a lot of people that struggle with it take your time you don't want to get sick <laughs> remember to love yourself it's very important Remember to care for yourself. Self-care is very important. And remember to tell all your loved ones that you care and you love them and you appreciate them because it could change an entire day for them. It can change um, so much. <laughs> Anything to bring a smile to anyone to let them know. Life is very short and people need to know that you appreciate them because sometimes it can save a life. Thank you for being here and love you. Bye.